Hello, the programme you're about to listen to was originally broadcast in 2008 on the BBC Learning English website. We hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Grammar Challenge from bbclearningenglish.com. Let's meet this week's challenger. Hello, my name is Tewa. I'm from South Korea. And uh, now in London, I study at English Studio near Homebrew Station. Well, actually, it's my first time for broadcasting, so I, I'm nervous and afraid. I want to start with a question, uh, Daywan. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what a regret is? Well, yes. Yeah. What, what, what is it? What can you explain? I want to change my past, so if if it could be, I will go back to my my past and uh, choose another choice. It's, I think it's the regret meaning. That's absolutely right. Yeah, a, a regret is where we did something in the past uh -huh. that if we could go back into the past and change it, that's what we do. Okay. Now we're going to listen to some audio clips of Mark and Eleanor talking about their regrets. See if you can hear what it is they wish they had done differently. Yeah, OK. I went for a walk in the park yesterday, but it started raining and I got really wet. I wish I had taken my umbrella. I wish I hadn't bought a rather expensive dress in the sales because I actually never ended up wearing it at all and I thought I was getting a bargain, but um, I wasn't. How's that? Mark didn't take his umbrella. Mm -hmm. And second, she bought an uh, expensive dress, so she regret it. Excellent. OK. So now we're going to listen to our grammar expert, Catherine, yes. um, talking about this uh, grammatical structure, I wish I had. Hi, Dewan. Well done. Mark didn't take his umbrella to the park and now he regrets it. Eleanor bought an expensive dress and she regrets that too. Here's Mark. I wish I had taken my umbrella. Let's break that down. Mark used I wish with the past perfect. Now remember the past perfect has three parts. A subject like I, you, he, then had and finally the past participle. For example, take, took, taken. Taken is a past participle. So, I had taken is past perfect. So, when Mark says, I wish I had taken my umbrella, he's using I wish with past perfect to talk about past regrets. Mark regrets something that didn't happen. He didn't take his umbrella and he wishes he had. But Eleanor regrets something that did happen. She bought an expensive dress, but she never wore it. So she uses I wish with I hadn't bought. That's a negative past perfect. Here she is again. I wish I hadn't bought a rather expensive dress in the sales. One more thing. If you're talking about he or she, don't forget to say wishes instead of wish. So if you're talking about Eleanor, say she wishes she hadn't bought that dress. OK, Dewan, good luck with your grammar challenge. Do you know what? I think that we're ready for the grammar challenge. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a sentence with a regret and you're going to turn it into a sentence using I wish I had or I wish I hadn't. OK? OK. OK. Andrew's train was late and he's missed a meeting. He wishes he had... He had to take a train. Mm -hmm. His train was late, so what does he wish about his train? Try it again. Uh, okay. She wishes the train had, uh, hadn't been late. Perfect. He didn't take his umbrella, but now it's raining. He wishes he, he hadn't been take, taking his umbrella. He didn't take his umbrella, so he wishes... He wishes he had taken his umbrella. Perfect. 
Okay, one more. She bought a dress, but now she regrets it. She wishes she hadn't bought a new dress. That's absolutely perfect. I think you did really, really well with that grammar challenge. It's very <laughs> difficult, and you did excellently. Grammar challenge from bbclearningenglish.com. Now, Dewan, do you have any regrets? Well, when I landed in this city, I disappointed the weather, expensive cost. You were disappointed by London and and British meals. British food? Uh, you didn't like British food? So, if I go back to the, my my choose the country, I will. Uh, uh, what's the grammar? I wish. I wish. I wish I had gone. To America or Canada? <gasps> Sorry, but I be can't. Honest. I can't believe I'm hearing this. I can't believe I'm hearing. This is the BBC. Do you realise what you're saying? BBCLearningEnglish.com.